Francisco Knight here. Shipped a good one today. Let's go. Nice one, dude. That's what I like to hear. Okay, we're going to try to open things up. This, this. And this is just simple chess. I'm going here. I'm going to put my bishop there. If he attacks me, I'm going to play h5. And I'm in a long castle. Rook's attacking the queen. We got great prospects over here on the king's side. Knight e5 might be the next move. And remember, if he moves that bishop, we do have some discovered check. Uh, some ideas to win. So I'm going to throw a g5. Spice things up. Vexy, I think I could convince you, you know? I think I could convince you. So what I'm going to do here... I'm going to take this. Might look strange. If queen takes, I think I have queen here. Threatening mate and threatening the rook. And here, I like that I have g5. Just forces something to open up. When his knight moves, I want to go queen d4, hitting the rook, and threatening it. Okay. Now, he's done something that's very dangerous. That wins the queen right now. But am I going to win the queen? No. I'm going to go here. I want to mate the guy. I want to mate the guy. And look, he even lets me do this with tempo. He's a nice, he's a nice guy, you know? He's so nice, I almost feel bad taking it, taking all his material, taking literally everything the guy has. I almost feel bad about it. So right now, he probably thinks that's a safe square. He doesn't see those two things hitting it. So I think it's probably fair to say that this move is decently safe here. And the thing is, this rook attack might take precedence. I think very likely is the move knight takes g4. Pretty likely, because now he's going to be like, oh, whoa, 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 boys. That one's really hit a lot. I don't know if I can trust this position. So knight takes g4. Damn it, he didn't play knight takes g4. He He's wise. He saw that, that I had some checkmate ideas. Okay, we're going to have to take the bishop. I don't want the rook. The bishop's more important. It's closer to the king. I'm going to mate this guy in a really brutal way here. We got to go for something nasty. Well, rook takes here is... I mean, it's hard to refuse. It's hard to refuse. Queen check, and in the corner, he gets mated with uh, rook h8. It's kind of hard to stop. Kind of hard to stop. You just had an epic back rank mate. Congrats, bro. Congrats. So, because it's hard to stop, we're not going to play it. We're going to go here. And this is another chess brawl lesson, you know, for all those new viewers here, maybe poker. Maybe from the ice stream. You gotta you gotta really put someone in the dirt. So I'm gonna show you what that means. Oh, check. You might think I'm gonna mate you with a rook with a queen. No, 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 I'm gonna give you this check, of course. And then, well, he can't move there. He's only got one move. He's gotta move the king. And then I get to checkmate him with a bishop. And that's a hell of a lot better than checkmate him with a queen. Now the guy's gonna really reconsider everything he stands for. Getting mated with a bishop like that. Ugh. Getting done dirty, Elias Tony. GG, buddy. Hey guys, I'll let you get back to the video in just a sec, but I wanted to remind you that today's video is brought to you by Manscaped.com. And for me, Christmas came a little bit early. I just got the new performance package by Manscaped delivered to me. Let's take a look. There we go. Manscaped created the, uh, the world's first all-in-one men's grooming kit. And uh, just got this package here. So let's take a look at some of the products. First of all, the Lawn Mower 3.0. This has the advanced skin safe technology by Manscaped. We move a little further down and we start with the Crop Preserver. This thing is a moisturizer, anti chafing. So after you just use the Lawn Mower, go ahead and apply that real quick and uh, you'll be feeling good for the rest of the day. Also, the Crop Reviver. This thing's also super important if you're in a rush or you just want to. You know, quickly revitalize down there. Boom, just a little spritz. Smells pretty good. That's all you need. You're on your way. That brings us to the Weed Whacker. This is the latest addition to the entire package. And as we can see here, familiar sound. That's right, LED light as well. This thing has the same advanced skin safe technology as the lawnmower. So, really important. This keeps you safe. You don't have to worry and it's for trimming those pesky nose and ear hairs without worrying about anything. And if you pick up the performance package right now, then you will get not only a nice little travel kit here, but also this sweet pair of Manscaped underwear for free. 
So two free things included. It's promo code CHESPRA, 20% off. And we know we got chess bras everywhere. We appreciate appreciate everyone watching. And we got free international shipping to offer you guys as well. So 20% off with the code CHESPRA, free international shipping. That's something nice to add to your wish list for the holiday season. So hope you guys check it out and pick one up for yourself. But for now, I'll let you get back to the chess. Let's get a 2100 in here. Pador, I don't know what your link in there, buddy, but I'm just going to time you out just because it's a link. I'm not trying to have a bunch of links in here, but what were you trying to link? Oh, no worries. Yeah, if you want to get someone to look up some music, you can even put the name in the name of the music in chat. Someone will look it up for sure. We got good music taste in here, Pador, so you're in the right spot to share music. Oh yeah, we got a night check, mate. We're 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 vibing. We're happy. Okay, this should be seven, eh? This castle. Get most of your music from here. Hey, there's no shame in that, my guy. Oh, this is a this is a thumper. it all the way. I mean, I don't really have time to calculate this, boys. I don't have time to calculate this. Let's go. Let's send her. Let's go. Who has time to calculate F5? You just play it. Jeez, 10 months from Codex A2. Codexa, thanks for the uh, 10 months. This is hanging. There's some loose, uh, loosey goosey stuff here. Big attacks. Oh, it's full send, Farley boy. You know it, buddy. Nothing else. Nothing else is sufficient here but the full send. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yep. Oh, we don't care about this. It's all about the rooks doubling and saying hello to the position here. Takes and rook g5 is also probably a pretty serious threat, I would say. Looks pretty strong, rook g5. Rook g5 now is g6. So that's why I want to maybe take and then rook g5. Yeah, so I think we take rook g5. Um, yes, I might have a request in about 10 minutes. $20 hurricane mat, full send. Oh, you know it, buddy. You know it, thanks for the 20 hurricane mat. Okay, we got our rook g5. We're, we're, we're not complaining here. Can't be bad, can't be bad. You know, can't defend it. All his pieces, they're not placed correctly. Queen check, we'll happily get right out of the way there. Remember guys, after queen check, don't be blundering king h2. The guy's gonna play queen takes. Oh wait, that doesn't work. Nah, you still shouldn't play king h2. It's on a it's on a bad square. Oh wait, let's take that. Hey, don't be playing King H2. Dad, just don't do it. 
<laughs> King H2? <laughs> no, this move's much better though in general. You never want to be on a checking diagonal. Okay, this move doesn't look good. I think he's made it here. But yeah, in general, you never want to be on a checking diagonal, especially when there's all these tactics. It might look like King H2, no big deal. But in general, later on, there's gonna be some check on that diagonal. You'll be like, no, I wish my king was on H1. So you definitely want to go king on H1. Um, This position, what am I looking at? Well, I mean, rook f1 is, is a bit obvious, so I'm kind of looking at other things like sacrifices. Do they work? I don't think so. I don't think so. So yeah, just go, I think nice and simple here, rook f1. And I think, again, queen g5 is uh, pretty accurate. Now, in this position, good example of, if my king was on h2, the guy would just give me a check. And then it'd be like, queen takes g7. There'd be some trick, right? That, that we didn't foresee so many moves ago. King on h1, very important. Why did I go queen g5? Cut off the escape square. Why did I do that? To play rook g8 mate, which is why the move here is rook takes f7. And then rook g8 mate. I mean, that's obvious. I mean, if you guys didn't see that, if you guys didn't see that, you gotta brush up. You gotta brush up. You gotta you got give him as much material as possible. Ha give it all to him. Once he has it, then you made it. You gotta do him as dirty as possible. That's just a requirement.